Fun fact, hippos and the Mercedes-AMG GT63 SE performance. A male hippopotamus can easily weigh 5,000 pounds. Though typically mild-tempered, when provoked, their jaws can deliver a lethal bite, reputed to be the strongest among land-dwelling creatures. Interestingly, hippos share a lot in common with the Mercedes-AMG GT63 SE performance. This two-door hatchback weighs nearly two and a half tons, and its top-tier E-Performance PHEV powertrain packs a powerful punch. Sit down. Shut up. Hold on. The GT63 SE Performance's extra mass is due to its electrified powertrain. Similar to the Pure Gas GT63, it boasts a twin-turbocharged 4.0-liter V8 engine, delivering 603 horsepower and 627 pound-feet of torque, paired with the brand's 9-speed automatic transmission featuring a wet clutch instead of a traditional torque converter. At the rear axle, there's an electric drive unit comprising a 201-horsepower motor producing 236 pound-feet of torque, a 2-speed transmission, an electronically controlled limited-slip differential, an inverter, and a 4.8-kilowatt-hour liquid-cooled lithium-ion battery pack. Except for a few mounting points, this setup mirrors the hardware found in the back of the C63 SE Performance. According to Mercedes, the E-Unit adds nearly 500 pounds to the already hefty platform, bringing the GT63 SE Performance's weight to approximately 4,800 pounds. While this weight is staggering, what's more astounding is the powertrain's combined output of 805 horsepower and 1,047 pound-feet of torque, distributed to all four wheels. The impressive performance of the Mercedes-AMG GT63 SE Performance You've probably noticed by now that the horsepower numbers don't quite add up. The combined horsepower essentially rounds off to a rough estimate. However, the combined torque is more perplexing. After a detailed explanation from Mercedes-AMG engineers, and a complex formula that would leave even Albert Einstein baffled, we've decided to take their word for it. Merging onto Germany's Autobahn quickly dispels any doubts. The electric motor delivers full thrust in 10-second bursts then tapers to 94 horsepower in 60-second intervals. The acceleration is relentless, propelling the car to 190 miles per hour with ease. We have no doubts about this car's ability to reach its governed top speed of 199 miles per hour. In fact, it feels like the car could effortlessly hit 220 miles per hour, though engineering the components to function beyond 200 miles per hour is a costly challenge. Mercedes claims the GT63 SE performance can reach 60 miles per hour in just 2.7 seconds with race start activated. The stitching patterns embedded in our backs suggest an even faster acceleration, potentially placing this car among the top 10 on our acceleration leaderboard. Like many of you, we were a bit put off by the second generation GT resorting to an all-wheel drive-only platform. For those who wish to try their luck, there's a not-so-advertised drift mode that decouples the front axle, sending all 805 horses to the, the rear tires. You and your tire budget have been warned. Stop, drop, and roll. For being such a portly fella, the GT63 SE performance certainly doesn't drive like it. This speed demon skips a conventional anti-roll bar setup and instead uses a hydraulic anti-roll control system much like the ones found in McLaren's and Rivian's. The corners are hydro-pneumatically linked to mitigate body roll, and the system tuning varies in comfort and sport driving modes. Slithering through the twisty hillsides of southern Germany, the anti-roll system, and the standard 2.5-degree rear axle steering, brilliantly masks the GT63's weight, its body staying level through faster sweeping corners and rotating through tighter switchbacks. All of these helping hands add to the curb weight, but when you're already a little chunky, a few extra calories won't hurt, though it's hard to find any faults with the ride quality on Germany's buttery road surfaces in any of the three suspension modes, comfort, sport, race. The steering leaves us wanting a more. There's not much feedback making its way up from the car's Michelin Pilot Sport S5 rubber, and off-center inputs are awfully reactive, leading to frequent corrections while turning into a corner. Thankfully, the steering is slower to respond to inputs at triple-digit speeds, but there's still an annoying learning curve to it. 
Naturally, a heavy car capable of such intense velocities needs a big brake package, and the e-performance delivers the goods. Monster 16.5-inch carbon ceramic rotors pinched by six piston calipers live within the front wheels, while 15.0-inch units and an off-putting single piston caliper reside out back. We can safely say that this system comes in handy when a clapped-out Opel decides it needs the Autobahn's left lane. We can also safely say that no one will enjoy the brake pedal's varying pressure. Sometimes you push on it, and it's nice and firm. Other times there's travel to it. It'll even move around underfoot during sustained pressure. It's an extremely odd pedal strategy that no one in the world ever asked for. The Upside Down While the GT63 SE Performance's mission is clearly eye-pain-inducing acceleration, its electric side has an air of sensibility. Surely, an estimated 7 miles of electric-only driving is nothing to brag about, but it allows stealthy travel through a town or city, only to unleash exhaust pipe hellfire on the other side. The GT63 is decidedly not quick in electric mode, but considering 201 horsepower is responsible for pushing roughly 4,800 pounds, forward momentum is adequate. With the 9 speeds clutches open, electric mode routes torque forward through the center differential to enable all-wheel drive. The rear gearbox executes its 1-2 upshift imperceptibly, but on more than one occasion the downshift arrived with an audible clunk. Its plug-in capabilities are clearly marketed for Europe's gasoline-unfriendly city centers, but its 3.7kWh onboard charger should replenish the battery in about two hours when connected to a 220V outlet. The GT63 SE Performance's lavish and technology-rich interior offers plenty of space for its front passengers, and while the back seat is optional, we call it mandatory. There's only enough headroom and back for small children, but the rear seat is the only way to get the folding divider that unlocks more cargo space. And that's critical in the e-performance, as the electric drive unit's load floor bulge eats up 5 cubic feet compared to the non-hybrid GT63. Yes, the GT63 SE Performance is a heavy car, but that's just the way she goes these days. If horsepower, aided by the roar of a gas-fed V8, can keep pace with weight gains, so be it. Just make sure there's plenty of bite, which is definitely the case here. We expect pricing for this ultimate Grand Tourer to start in the neighborhood of $200,000 when it arrives later this year. 2025 Mercedes-AMG GT63 SE Performance Pros and Cons Pros 1. Exceptional Performance The combined output of 805 horsepower and 1,047 pound-feet of torque provides thrilling acceleration and top speeds. 2. Advanced Powertrain The hybrid powertrain, featuring a twin-turbocharged V8 and an electric motor, offers both power and efficiency. 3. Luxurious Interior High-quality materials, advanced technology, and comfortable seating make for a premium driving experience. Cons 1. Heavy weight The additional weight from the hybrid components makes the car quite heavy, affecting agility and fuel efficiency. 2. Complex maintenance The advanced hybrid system may require specialized maintenance, potentially increasing costs and complexity. 3. Limited electric range Despite its hybrid nature, the electric-only range is limited, reducing its appeal for those seeking longer electric drives.